Good afternoon and good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us for uh, what is the first edition of the week when it comes to Wake Up Call. It's so nice to see you. Well, I can see your comments coming through anyway. My name's Craig Laird. Maybe this is something brand new to you. Maybe you've never uh, seen Crafters TV before. Maybe you've not seen Wake Up Call before. I am here with someone very special. Of course, always uh, a partnership. We're going to be having a look at a few items coming up throughout today on Crafters TV. And what we have got is, as I say, my duo, the tag team. He's back together. We're back together. Four of us are back together. But we'll talk to Ben first. Hi, Ben. Hello, Craig. Hello. Love- I'm really good. Do you know what? It's nice to come into work and see lots of smiling faces. Some of me faves in today because it's a bit of a miserable old day here up north. Uh, the rain is pouring down, but hopefully we are going to put some smiles on your faces over the course of the day today because it's going to be an epic day. And I know it's one that you're particularly looking forward to because uh, when it's a hunky-dory day, it's always a day which is kind of like big on your calendar, isn't it? It is, it is for sure, and that's why I'm just trying to stay a little bit <laughs> so to come, because I am really excited with that one there. But as Ben says, yes, it's me and Ben, it's me and Ben all day today, whoop, whoop. and the other two I was referring to, it's just through in the gallery next door there with Johnny and Charlotte. Whoop, whoop. So all of us, all day today, where we are going to be having a look at exactly what Ben's just said. So let's go through the shows coming up today on Crafters TV. That is, after Wake Up Call, that's going to be a launch day, which is all about hunky-dory crafts. These uh, once a month launch days just seem to fly round yeah. when it comes to hunky dory so that's going to be three o'clock here in the uk 10 a.m eastern time 7 a.m pacific time and then monday makers we're having a look at a few items a few demos where we maybe just spend an extra little bit of time going through step by step some maybe some of the advanced stuff that you can be doing but we're going to be having a look at that as well that main show itself is going to be seven o'clock here in the uk or of course it will be two o'clock uh, eastern time or it will will be 11 a.m. Pacific time for you guys stateside as well. So that's the lineup for today, but we've got lots and lots of, uh, well, lots and lots of viewers already uh, starting to get the comments in. We certainly have. Yeah, got to say good morning. I, I love the fact that we've got people watching from all over. Alicia's in from um, Arkansas. They said Arkansas then. Um, good morning from Tennessee, says Charlotte. Katie's in. Good morning from Southern California. It is currently dark. Oh, is it currently dark where you are? Uh, well, it's... It's dark here, but it shouldn't be dark because it's obviously midday. It's just dark and miserable and rainy and horrible. Um, Alison says, good afternoon from Ammonford and Wales. Lacquietta's in. Kathleen's in from Manchester. Uh, and Shelley from South West Florida. As always on this show, uh, we want you to get in touch. Say hello. Let us know what you're doing this Monday. Let us know what bargains you've got your eyes on as well. You can get in touch on Facebook. You can get in touch on YouTube. And if you've got any questions over the course of the show, you can fire those our way as well. What I would also say, say is that we've only got today tomorrow and wednesday left of our end of summer sale now no no what is it what is it oh no we are in the well we we had the start of the end of the summer sale Uh and now we are in the middle of what was the start of the end of the summer sale well done yes Yes! he was teasing me beforehand because i couldn't get it right kind of when we launched it it's the end of the start of the end of the start of the summer sale it's the end of the summer sale we're in the middle of it we're heading towards the end head to the website up to 70 percent off selected lines um so do get shopping because there are still some amazing deals to be had but let's get talking about you can get excited here let's get talking about the hunky dory goodies that we got on the show so many goodies, we can't even fit them all on nope. our normal area, can we? We can't, no. So for that reason, uh, I'm just going to stay put right here and we're going to go through some of my picks. You stay there? Yeah, because we couldn't get everything on the counter. So no. what we've had to do is pop it onto the other side. This is the By The Show. Whoa. So you are getting all of what you're seeing. Floral elegance. Now you're getting your backgrounds, you're getting your toppers, you're getting your little tag book, you're getting your adorable scorable. <laughs> then you've got your autumn day. So you've got your toppers, you've got your backgrounds, you've got your inserts, you've just got galore when it comes to hunky-dory. And you're waiting to see butterfly blush coming up on your screen. Look oh, at that wow. one. You've got your toppers, your inserts, your 8x8 eight eight pad, You're getting textured mirror card. You are getting pink foiled acetate as well. You have got so, so much. Look at that price on your screen already. So everything that you've just seen a moment ago on your screen. That's bonkers. That's bonkers, isn't it? 
absolutely bonkers. So today's price, everyone's going to be paying £115 or $168. But even although this is Hunky Dory Crafts, if you are platinum, that's going to come down even more to £92 or $134.40. One you to keep in mind that is adorable scorable. Your autumn days is matastic. So go in with your gilded and waxes, go in with your inks, your folders, your stamps, all of these that you can do as well. You've absolutely got something for many different occasions. You've got the autumn, which let me tell you is going to look absolutely gorgeous with our nature garden uh, collection as well. But then you've got something that really is, and I, I'm, I'm not going to apologise when I say this with the butterfly blush, something for the girls, the women. Of course, guys will like it as well, but absolutely that brightness, the pinks, you've got that merry texture as well. That's included as well you've got everything in there but then when it comes to your floral elegance if you like your sophisticated your foiling with your blacks you've got that one within that one as well they are all uh, individual across on our website you just need to go to shop the show on launch date if you do want to cherry pick certain items but as we know by now so many of you go straight in for the buy the show unfortunately I haven't been able to do like a preview live or anything this time round because it's been rather busy the last week or so but we are having a look at it with in wake up call and then we will have a full two hours all about hunky dory including a few items that is uh, back in stock as well that we're also going to feature too something you may have got in the past we've got some new ones and a new selection and this is all about different paper pads all about the duos and that so we're going to be having a look at them as well use them as standalone or of course use them in conjunction with your collections so it's entirely up to yourself but going for that buy the show bundle with everything that you've seen a moment ago uh, you are going to be paying 115 pound or 168 dollars but of course you guys across uh well you guys that are platinum that's coming down even more to 92 pound or 134 dollars for three complete collections That's unbelievable three complete collections relatively new as well to hunky dory of course they're going to launch them themselves first so these are relatively new collections that they've just done as well so really looking forward to having a look at these ones here but then what we're going to do let's have a look at monday makers and we're going to go festive with this one here. Wobblies! Wobble, we all love a little bit of a wobble when it comes to Christmas time. I love a wobble any time. You know, some of us have more wobbles than others. So, well, some people do, yeah. This mm. is the Wobbler. This is the Stamp and Die collection. What you're getting is 48 elements in total. Now, today's price being $39.99 or $69.95. Platinum price comes down to £31.99 or $55.96. So we're going to be having a look at these as they are intended when it comes to the wobblers. But the size of these, which we will show you shortly, these are really nice cute stamps. Whereas if you want to use them as penny sliders, yeah. then you absolutely can do. Or use them as standalone, you absolutely can do. But that's what's coming up in Monday Makers and something that we're also going to be uh, featuring within Wake Up Call 2. But what we're going to do, and we're actually going to be using the next item in conjunction with these ones coming up in Wake Up Call, and that is all about our mega deal. This one here is our Aqua Marker. This is our 48 piece complete collection. This one being £58 or $75, but your platinum price being £46.40 or $60 all of these ones here is uh, your four sets there each set you are getting 12 pens you've got double ended we're going to be having a look at these these are all for your water base so if you want to do your washes if you want to do your backgrounds if you want to pinpoint certain areas of your coloring you absolutely can do but we will be having a look at them in more detail towards the end of wake up call but we will use them in with the wobblers as well but then we'll of course be coming up in monday makers so hopefully you can join us all day today launch day being three o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, which is all about hunky dory crafts. We're also going to have a look at the Gildan Flakes as well. We've got them all back in stock as well. We'll do that in Wake Up Call. Uh, and then hopefully you'll stick with us as well for Monday Maker, 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Crafterscompine.co.uk.com or .eu is where you need to go. Hey, he summed up a marvellous, magnificent Monday right there, isn't he? I mean, this is going to be amazing. It may be a little bit miserable outside. Katie just said, sorry, it's dark and gloomy there, 
Ben. Let's see if we can get some of those giggles going to cheer everyone up. We will bring the giggles, don't you worry about that, and we will bring the bargains as well. Get in nice and early uh, already. A few of you telling me you've got shopping, a few of you uh, cherry picking some of the items from that uh, Hunky Dory by the Show collection. Obviously, the best way to go is to get the lot. That's where the bargain is, but you can cherry pick. A uh, few of you already telling me uh, that you've got some of those collections and you're adding uh, and just saying, I've already bought the Autumn and the Butterfly, so today I've added the elegance to my collection. Lots of chat about those wobblers as well. Uh, Lynn just saying, I have the wobblers uh, and the characters are very cute and easy to colour. Uh, sorry, just made me laugh. I've got the wobblers. Oh, you better go to the doctors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, weird sense of humour. Uh, grab all of those goodies and I'll tell you what, if you are after a bargain, we have got, with it being a Monday, a brand new, get it, got it, good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what's wrong with me today? Uh, we have got the uh, pop-out uh, character craft kit on a brilliant deal today, 15 pounds or $15. Uh, this is where, with uh, the, the dies that you get in here, you can create these really cute pop-outs. Uh, there's a little teddy bear in there, a little rabbit as well, and you've got all of the papers, all of the embellishments, uh, the cardstock in there as well. You know what these craft kits are like. So to get that for 15 pounds today or $15, less than 20% if your platinum is amazing, that deal around is launching today oh and let's just mention you get 50 bonus points on that as well the last two get it got it goods we've had certainly possibly three have sold out before the end of the week so make sure you grab them and yeah very true if you're a platinum member of course in club inspire that 15 pounds becomes 12 pounds or 12 dollars which truly i think is the lowest price we've ever done one of these um craft kits for so if you want to dip your toe in the water and try them or maybe you're kind of expanding your collection grab it uh because those will fly i am sure right we are live and interactive it's monday morning get in touch say hello let us know what you've got your eye on let us know what you're up to this monday uh, and we will get cracking because someone not too far from me over there is getting very excited to have a play with the hunky dory goodies i am indeed and just say as well so we've got uh, uh lily rug on youtube is saying i purchased uh, the autumn blessings and it's absolutely stunning uh, i purchased it when it launched on hunky dory as i knew i couldn't be without it obviously referring to their uh, hunky dory's autumn days but it would work well with our autumn blessings collection from nature garden yeah. they're going to work beautifully together but of course standalone as well but here we go let's have another look at it which is coming up in launch day and it is the by the show when it comes to hunky Dory Crafts, three full collections that you're going to be getting when it comes to these ones here, which include your floral elegance, then is also your autumn days, and then what we're just peeping into now is of a butterfly blush. This is the fabulous finishes collection. So these are three full collections. You can see from the butterfly blush, it is a huge one where you are getting your textured mirror card, you're getting your foiled acetate, you're getting your toppers, you're getting your backgrounds, you're getting your inserts, you're getting your eight by eight book. So it's not just one of the little books, uh, you're getting your eight by eight book when it comes to these ones here. So within this full, full collection, we're gonna do a demo just in a moment when it comes to the butterfly blush but I think what to do is you kind of got an idea uh, all the way through that screen as to what you're going to be getting but then launch day we'll have a proper look through each individual uh, kind of thing that you're going to be getting I think what we'll do is I'll not open these but let's just have a flick through the front of each pack that I've been prepping with so these ones here are your butterfly blush so this is going to give you the idea as what to expect when it comes to the color tones. Within this one here, you've got your pink foiling, but then you've got your peaches that run throughout as well. Yes, it's the butterflies, but then it is your florals. You've got some of your birds, you've got peacocks, you've got all that that run in conjunction with this collection here. You, of course, do get the corresponding inserts as well that's going to match the backgrounds that come with the collection. But then look at this one, Ben. You know how much I love Hunky Dory's foiled oh, acetate. Oh, he's getting it out, he's going round. I'm going for this one. I'm going for this one. So you've got a couple of different designs when it comes to the acetate. Now, what I adore about this one, for instance, Ooh, here, we've got that gorgeous blush sort of pink foiling. But if you want gold instead, 
Magic. Magic. How did you do that? Do it again. As Paul Daniels would say, that's magic. Thank you, Debbie. That. For you got your blush pink. Hey. But you turn it over, you've got gold. Brilliant. Now, sometimes what would happen when Hunky Dory do your coloured foiling, you turn it over and you get like a standard silver. It's just the backdrop of the foiling. This time you've got gold instead if you yeah. want to. So you don't need to use it just with the butterfly blush. You can be using it elsewhere. Keep in mind, we're going to go through it all when it comes to actually the launch day show. But I wanted to show you kind of what to expect and what to uh, see colour tones running through. 8x8 eight eight as well. Now these are all adorable scorable. So this is their traditional, this is their famous adorable scorable, being the coated cardstock. Now this is going to take your collection further on. This is where in the past, what you would tend to say with something like this, you wouldn't usually get this within a collection. And what you would then do is we would then say, you know, if you can reach to pop one of these into your yeah. basket, it's going to extend your collection uh, further on you're getting it included as well. So nice eight by eight cards, cutting it down, chopping it down. But what you're getting is a full pack of adorable, scorable as well. It's new to work in conjunction with the collection, Butterflies Blush. So you've got the fluttering butterflies, it's all foiled as well. You've got 16 sheets, you've got different color tones that run throughout, you've got four different designs. So you've got the pinks, you've got the peaches, gives you a little bit of an idea down at the bottom as well. But are you ready? Hunky Dory don't just do foiling. No. They don't just do mirror foiling. No. They do textured Come on. foil. So this one I am going to open this yeah, one. Yeah, I need to see this. So that you can see Up close and all personal. of this one. So I'm, I, th I think I've taken all the loose bits out that I've been prepping with. So oh, you've got wow. that, that blush pink. So it is mirror card. It's not mirror, it's mirror. So it's the best of the best, but you've got different textures. Oh yeah, like, like at that. chevrons there. It's like a it? chevron, yeah, crisscross. Yeah. Or you know where I, you know where I'm going? WWE steel cage. <laughs> that would me be of. the prettiest steel cage ever. It that, would be. It? it would be. <laughs> but then you've got your swirls, you've got all your little textures, you've got all Ooh. your butterflies, you've got your dots, you've got all of these love hearts. Yeah. All of that as well. So that comes included as well within the buy the show. So if you want to go for just with our butterfly blush on its own on and the that's website, only one collection. that's just the one collection. Unbelievable. You're also going to get, you're also going to get the floral elegance. Now, your foiling, your gold textured foiling, you've got your blacks, you've got your pinks, you've got your mints, you've got your teals. All of these ones are elegant, they're sophisticated. They're for, do you know what I think these are perfect for? You know the teenager that is just above the actual teenage stage, yeah. but not quite at the adult stage just yet. You've got that sort of elegant look that's going to work for that tween years, but of course it's going to work for your older as well. So absolute gorgeous collection here. This one you're going to be getting, your inserts as well. These are papers. So half are inserts, half are double-sided pattern papers as well. We're going to go through them all again in launch day, 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. And then also within this one here, Floral Elegance, you're getting more adorable scorable. Foiled, adorable scorable, 16 sheets, you're getting that included. And then, I can't believe this. instead of a little book, you're getting one of their tag pads oh, as well. Super cute. So you've got your tag pads that are all glue bound, so they just pop out, but you can be using them as tags or you could be using them as card fronts if you want to. Yeah. So that one there that we can see, the Floral Elegance, if you do just want that one on its own, it is across on the website as well, but that is also included is in the Buy the Show. So that's what you're getting and there's one more. There is one more that you're getting. This is adorable, scorable, and it's matastic, which means you can ink and you can foil, you can glitter, you can stamp, you can do all the textures on these ones. Autumn days. Wow. Now, I don't need to say anything else color-wise about this one. It tells you straight away here. Now, you've got your different topper sheets. You've got your sentiments that come included. You've got all your backgrounds as well. You can see on the screen as well. And then, so we'll come back to mine now. 
Now we'll come at there we go. So you've got that colour tones that work through it. Always remember you do get your inspiration sheet on the back as well that Hunky Dory will give you some ideas if you want to. Then what you're also getting is the inserts to go with it. So with this one here, what I love about what Hunky Dory have done with this, yes you're getting the topper collection, yes you're getting the inserts, and yes you're getting the 8x8 as well. So love remember it. what I said about Butterfly Blush, it's the same but within the autumn days. Now what they've done with the autumn days is they've not jam-packed it full of autumn products because it's not something we're using every single day. We're not using an autumn range every single day. Butterfly blush, I, I would use that 365 days of the year. Mm -hmm. So therefore you're getting loads and loads of elements. So you're getting what you need, but autumn days, the toppers, the backgrounds, the inserts in the 8x8 uh, book, and that's what you're getting. So if you want that on its own, again, it's on Shop the Show on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. But it's also part of By The Show as well. So everything that I just showed you there, £115 or $168 for you guys stateside. But if you are platinum, even though it's Hunky Dory Crafts, it comes down to £92 or $134. 40 for you guys stateside. So I'm taking a breather before I go and do a demo on the butterfly blush. There's loads in that one, Ben. I mean, uh, we've done Hunky Dory shows before and I have uh, seen Hunky Dory products over the years. But I mean, those three collections on their own right are amazing. But to get all three for that by the show price is simply unbelievable. And actually the comments are uh, replicating my uh, feel on this. Betty on YouTube has just simply said, oh wow uh gilmore has said pretty collections going to faint oh, don't faint gilmore i know they're great but please don't faint whatever you do uh autumn days days is beautiful says shelly fallen into my car s rook saying the collection is lovely jackie saying these hunky Dory collections are beautiful so much good stuff on the show says jerry johnson i have more product than time to use them i mean seriously you grab this by the show today you're set for a good few weeks aren't you i mean there's so much here um that textured miri says katie is to die for um these hunky dory collections are beautiful says jackie uh <laughs> gemma whoa <laughs> absolutely bleeping amazing says gemma i just oh yeah oh yes getting a bit fruity on the old socials already it's only 25 past midday uh but listen so many of you loving these collections what i would say is if you love them grab them now this is the reason we bring these to you uh, craig picks what he thinks are going to be the big hitters for the day so that you can get in nice and early before everybody else gets up so grab the goodies now and then you can sit back and enjoy the actual launch day show for the hunky dory uh, by the show three o'clock this afternoon uk time 10 o'clock east coast you can sit there all smug knowing that you've got all of your goodies and you can just wait and uh, watch everybody else scramble for whatever uh, we have got left uh, lots of people as well, uh, pleased that uh, the old Scotty Hot is here for the whole day. And yes, Aisha, he has got an HSM preview today too. So he is a busy, busy man. Uh, he'll be earning his um, his coins today, I can tell you that much. And Adriana, just asking about the sub box, which is uh, the Get It Got It Good. Uh, it is number 37. Uh, the sub box that we've got uh, as I get it got it good this week and remember 50 bonus points on that as well keep the comments coming um, let me know are you going for the buy the show is there one of those collections which is kind of calling to you more than the other three let me know on the uh, socials um, what you're fancying and Astrid on Facebook hi Astrid lovely to hear from you says my goodness you're getting a lot of bang for your buck uh, right there it is uh, bang for your buck this isn't it really there's lots there really, really is. So I'm going to dive in and do a demo. I'm going to show you a few finished samples of each three, oh, then yes. we'll go in. Uh, when it comes to the website, check out the Gildan Flakes. They're all back in stock. We're going to have a look at them shortly. And also, while you're across it, there is four new duo tones, 8x8 paper pads across on the website. So there's four new ones. Have a look at them. They're across their shop, the show. They're going to be on the launch day. So check them out. But here we go. Let's go in. I'm going to show you a few finished samples as to what you can expect. This one being the floral elegance. And I deliberately wanted to pick out a couple of small ones first as well. Because I know you guys stateside, you don't always do big cards. 
And for me, anyway, when it comes to hunky dory, I, I love doing big cards. Mm. But you can do small if you want. But you can see there the elegance, whether it comes to the mints or the pinks, or you're going in with your golds and you've got all of them as well. Yeah. But then we've got the autumn days. So you can be cutting into the paper pad. This one is actually part of the 8x8, just taking some of the thankful sentiment dies, done that down the middle. But then what we've got as well is creating oh, so an pretty. arch frame. So yeah. not always using the initial image that comes in, use a little bit of excess acetate than your stash there. This is one I'd done over the weekend. I popped it onto social media. Again, cutting into your cardstock using the autumn colors that we can see there. That one being autumn days. And then last but not least, oh. when it comes to butterfly blush, Look at that one. Which is your fave, Craig? Which is your fave? Oh, <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly, could not possibly have a favourite. I, mm, I'm, a, I'm always drawn to the blacks and the, 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 the golds and the sophisticated colours. I knew I am, you'd be drawn to the sophisticated one because that's what I think. I, I, could, I sophistication. love, I love that the mints and teals and duck egg blues, as you know. So therefore, yeah. that would be perfect. But what we're going to do, we've got a, a range of different uh, demos throughout launch day show. But we're going to use the butterfly blush. Let's keep it relatively simple. And we'll also use the background. We're going to use a topper. Going to use an insert. Now, the insert alone could be used as background paper if you want, because you've got that muted tone. And then this was one of the other foiled acetates that you've oh, got yeah. with the butterfly down one side and again it is gold on the other side if you wanted to so what i'm going to do with this one ben let's go in with my background if you're new to hunky dory or maybe you're new to hunky dory via us at crafters tv we've got adorable scoreable which is bendy ink technology that hunky dory had come up with what that means is i'm going to score pretty much at the halfway mark and then this enables us to get a nice, crisp, clean fold and burnish. So we're not going to get any cracking. There's no creasing. There's no feathering. There's no nothing when it comes to the fold of your card. Now, oh, yeah. as a beginner of Hunky Dory, you can literally fold it in half. Yep. Take one of the toppers and pop it into the middle. Yeah. And that, that is absolutely a okay. That is the whole point of them. But of course, if you're more experienced, like I I would be more inclined to cut it in half and use my own card blanks. Yeah. But it's entirely up to yourself. So I folded that one in half for now. What I'm going to do is exactly the same with the insert. But I think you you described it really perfectly, and obviously, you know, we know how much you love Hunky Dory. I've I've you know worked with Hunky Dory products for years as well. This is the kind of kit that, like, you know, if you are like yourself more experienced, you'll probably use it a, a bit more um, sparingly. Let's just say, yep. if you are brand new to crafting, it is literally just a case of taking that card stack as you just done there, folding it in half, getting an insert, folding it in half, exactly, and then just using the, 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 the topper elements. So it can be super simple, but the finished product that you get will never look super simple it no. will always look like top notch won't it it will do it'll always do that and you know it's easy for me to say you know when it comes to the background cards chop it in half and use your own card blanks mm. but if you are a beginner the whole point is for a beginner fold it in half and you've got a lovely yeah. a really nice you know a clean crisp card blank yeah pop a topper in with a sentiment and that's your card done. Yeah. You know, so uh, you can do either or. What I would suggest when it comes to the insert, once you fold it in half, it's going to be exactly the same size, but you are going to get a slight overhang because it needs to take into account the fold of the center. So what I always do is I go in, now if I show you just to double check, that there is the opening. So I've got my fold down the center. What I always like to do, Ben, is take really a couple of millimetres off the side and also a couple of millimetres just at one end, the yeah. top or the bottom. What that does is that makes it slightly smaller. Uh, okay. So therefore, when we go into our card, you're then going to get that nice, perfect fit. The way that I like to attach my inserts is with double-sided tape. 
You can use glue, you can use your tape runner if you want, but it's my personal preference. So I add my adhesive down the left hand side. So only on the one side. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to remove the back of this. Then what I like to do is I come in, I pop it right up to the fold and then I close it, making sure that we're nicely snug and then I press. Brilliant. Now if you do go into the card shops, I don't go into them as much now because of course I make my own, but I do go in and I have a look at themes and styles. Yeah. You'll see that you open up, you always get the insert that opens with it. Yeah, in the expensive ones. In the expensive ones, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how they tend to do it. So you've still got that free flowing leaf at the front and the back, but it's nicely held in. So you could then beforehand stamp into it, print into it if you want. So it's all adorable, scorable, but the inserts are matte. So there's the inside. Again, add a sentiment if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in with my acetate now. Here we go. And once again, I'm going to fold this down in half. So I'm going to do it lightly a couple of times. I always do it lightly and a few times. And then what I can do is I can come in, fold it in half all the way down. And even with their acetate, which is 220 microns, which means it's a good heavyweight acetate. Yeah. So you could be making box lids and that with it if you want to, or your card blanks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got a really good burnish. And then what I'm going to do for this one, I am going to add my red liner tape for this one here. Did you just hear that? Butterfly blush, most popular collection. Most um, On its own. Um, Johnny was just saying a few minutes ago, actually, uh, that you guys are going absolutely crazy for these collections. And don't forget, if the butterfly blush goes individually, that then means the uh, the big collection, the by the show, is gone. It's so it, gone. It, it's a good idea to get in nice and early, spy what you fancy, uh, get it in your basket, get it checked out. So I've put my red liner tape down the, the side of the card on the back. So there is, that's the front of it. Yeah. So I've popped it into the back. Then what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to come in, make sure you don't get it stuck. What I'm then going to do is let's open it up a little bit more. We can then pop this one in. So pretty much the same as what I done with the insert, but we're now creating a wrap. And then what I would do at home, I would wrap maybe some ribbon or something down yeah. the back so that you don't see it. But now we've got a butterfly. You can see it sits perfectly. It's all A4. Hey, it's it's all true A4 in size. So it comes right to the end. So what you could then do is you can pretty much add a sentiment. And as a beginner, that's your card done. But you're over the moon as a beginner. If you just made that as your first card, I mean, come on. I know, you'd be absolutely de delighted with this. Of course you would. They're all die cut toppers, yeah. which means you pop them out. You know now, by why, now. Why are you just going around here with these scissors? Because what you get is there's little pips <laughs> that hold them into place. Now, me being me, yeah. they bug the life out of well, me. They're barely noticeable. They're barely noticeable. They have to be there, otherwise you're just going to get a pack of single toppers so yeah. they have to be there held together but what i do is i use my scissors and i just snip off the edges if you've got a nail file you can just file it down yeah or while the topper is still in place go around by your craft knife and that's going to release it so whatever you feel i would urge you to take away the pips they are barely noticeable but once you notice them you're going to keep noticing them but as we've seen there, that could have been a sentiment. But what we can then do is then go in with a couple of foam pads. Always optional. You might want to go flat if you want to. Um, Katie's just asking where you get your double-sided tape from. So my uh, double-sided tape is uh, I use a, 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 a mix of our own from our website. Yeah. And uh, I use another local company, Sticks to oh, yes. that everyone knows. Yeah. Um, so it's always a mix between ours and theirs which I'm always very, very appreciative that uh, I'm allowed to use Sticks to his adhesives on our show as well. But what we can then do is let's come back in with that topper and then this is all that I'm doing to finish off, Ben. Bringing in this sentiment. You can come in with your gems, your pearls, your ribbons, anything like that. That is all that come I'm on, doing. Oh, that's amazing. So we've got a topper, we've got our card blank, 
we've got our acetate, we've got our insert. You will then, of course, do your sentiments if you want to, stamped insert. But look at that one there. Do you know what, as well, and Johnny's just chatting in my ear, and that is so true, right? You, know, you talk about the cars in your card shop, if you ever go in and have a look, how much would that be? If, if you were to look at yeah. the card shop, that would be one of the expensive ones, wouldn't it? That would be one it of the would. ones that you'd pick up, you'd turn it around on the back and you'd go, ooh, five, five ninety nine. Ooh, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? That's it. This is like top notch, top quality, expensive looking cards, and you've just put that together as a complete beginner. Yeah. And look, I mean, not you, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you are just starting, how amazing does that look? But what you've just said as well to pick up on about uh, Hunky Dory, like us as well, have got a full angel policy. Yes. Which that just means you can make and sell to your heart's content. You maybe just make for yourself, that's absolutely fine. But if you do do it to sell for personal profit, for maybe a charity, uh, to make extra money for your own crafty so maybe you've got a business you absolutely can do. You can't just sell the single sheets, you have to make something, but you can make as much as you want and you can sell them for as much as you want the more money you get yeah you know hunky dory uh, they think the same as we do as well the more money you get the better because it's more money you can spend on crafty stuff absolutely right and you know what if you think you made that one card there say you sell that sell that for a fiver just think how many other cards you'll be able to make and sell for five pounds from that collection and all of a sudden that 92 pounds comes back into your pocket very very quickly indeed and of course the more that you make and then sell the more you'll go hey, man, heck. I love this hunky dory stuff i'm going to come back and buy some more so it works both ways for everybody uh, and this is why you absolutely need to jump in and grab it uh, particularly now because i tell you what there's loads of you up early shopping right now ahead of the launch day uh, you can get the buy the show collection everything uh, you're going to get for an amazing price and as we said it's so big we've had to pop it over the other side of the studio uh, just to get it all in <laughs> it's unbelievable autumn days you're going to get your floral elegance and that butterfly blush as well i love the autumn days i've got to tell you i love the autumn blessings collection that we had uh, the colors and the color palette with the autumn days is just stunning uh, and that butterfly blush you guys are loving as well uh, that blush miri with the uh, the textures in it oh my goodness me how phenomenal is that you can pick and choose if you want remember for those people who are pick and uh, choosing uh, that means the buy the show bundle uh, will dwindle even quicker as well so get whatever it is that you want and get your baskets checked out um, lots of you chatting Joanne Madigan just saying on YouTube I already ordered the autumn collection but I think I'm going to have to get the butterfly blush my I'm not buying anything stance goes right out of the window when it comes to hunky dory uh, Gemma just saying wow the floral elegance in that autumn collection um, just fell in my basket and got paid for uh, Gemma saying the samples are stunning uh, Betty was uh, just saying I was hoping not to order anything this week that ain't going to happen, Betty, is it? You're going to be, I know what's going to happen. I know. Uh, Teresa just says, so simple and gorgeous. I mean, that is Craig to a T. Oh, you're talking about the card. I see. I see what you mean. Sorry, I got a bit bit confused there. Uh, <laughs> how crazy, beautiful and profesh is that card, says Katie. And follow Katie's message on YouTube. Katie says this, resistance is useless. Just get the bundles and then enjoy the show. Katie, you need you should come and sit here. I mean, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Resistance is useless. You know you're going to end up buying something. Get the buy the show and then you can sit back, enjoy the show later on on launch day, knowing that you've got all of your goodies. Um, Astrid also agreeing with you, Craig, just saying, um, I agree. Uh, it's always worth the effort to remove the pips for a lovely finish. Um, and Katie is saying, you pay a fortune for the card that Craig just made, uh, like $12.99 here in the US. Uh, and, and Craig, I know you just talked about it literally just a few moments ago, uh -huh. but Kathy is brand new. And she just, again, just wants you to um, just, just chat about the angel policy once again, just to explain what, what is the, an angel policy. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know where the term angel no. policy comes from. It's something that actually is worth about maybe... Uh, having a look at because I do mention it every now and again sometimes what will happen if you have a licensed image then you can only make and sell so many cards from yeah. that one licensed image so for instance let's just say autumn days was a collection hunky dory might say right we've got an angel policy of 100 cards which means you can make and sell 100 cards for that one calendar year and that's it um, whereas when we say no angel policy like us, like them, it just means that you can make and sell as many as you want yeah. or just make and give as many as you want. And let's be honest as well, I, I mean, I have worked with, um, you know, crafty goodies over the years where you, you can make, but then you can't, you know, you can't mm -hmm. sell it. Yeah. There, there are some, so it's, yep. it's, it's a very generous thing uh, for Hunky George to say, do you know what, you make, 
you sell. Uh, so as long as you make something physical, as long as you're not like Craig saying, you know, selling the individual sheets, you can't do that, but you can make and then sell. Keep the money for yourself, give it to charity, um, you know, make some cards for the kids' school, whatever it might be. Uh, you, you, know, you might just decide to buy this and give it to friends and family, but if you want to make a bit of money, mm -hmm. then absolutely you can go ahead uh, and do that. Um, th these collections are flying. Uh, producer Johnny just going, another buy the show's just sold, another one's just sold, another one's just sold. <laughs> they are going. When we get to three o'clock, uh, the by the show is going to be hanging on at this rate because loads of you are up and about. Now, the other thing uh, that we're very excited about, uh, Gilding Flakes are back. They are indeed. So we've got them back. So we've got them all back. I know we uh, popped them, or I used them in a the show last week or so where we only had the copper left, but thankfully we managed to get all of them back as well. We've got them back as well, and we've got them back at 15% saving as well. What was that? I thought you said, Johnny, I thought you said copper is sold out already. I was about to say, <laughs> what? Um, so it's we, like, what? Copper, individually, copper is the most uh, popular, but we do have them um, in uh, the three of them, which you've got the uh, Prism, Gildan Flakes, which is Hunky Dory's brand, gold, silver, and copper, £10 or £14.99. But if you're platinum, once again, maybe Hunky Dory, but you're still getting your platinum on top of that, which is £8 or $11.99 as well. So, uh, Gildan Flakes, uh, I think. Um, stay there. Stay there. Bear with. Bear with. I'm Bear still here. Oh, hang on a minute. He's Bear running with. around the studio. Bear with. Oh, he's, um, he's just Bear run with. over to the other side of the studio. What's he doing now? Oh, he's <coughs> grabbing the tubs. Here he goes. Here we go. Yeah, that was quick. Right. Whew. There we go. Didn't, didn't miss that, did you? <laughs> uh, here we go. Gildan Flakes. So we have got our silver. So this is how they come. So they come in your little tubs. Uh, so you've got your silver, you've got your copper, and you have got your gold as well. Now, I will bet you Ben's quarter of a million pound yearly wage. Half a million! That when you. It's half a million now. You're joking! No, half a million. Half a million and your own dressing room. And my chauffeur. And private helicopter. Jeezy. Yes, yeah. yeah. If you're not. Oh, you've not. Oh, dear. Awkward. Anyway, yeah, you're going to bet my half a million pound a year wage, yep. You open these tubs up and you will not get them back in the tub. There's absolutely no way you will get these back in. What do you mean you won't get them back in? Because these expand. Oh. So, for instance, we've got the silver here. Now, the one I'm going to show you, I've got a couple of tubs. So, I'm not going to, you know, say this is just one tub. It's not. It is a couple of tubs that are in here. But what to do is get an inexpensive uh, plastic box or something. And then what to do is then decant it, once ah. you've used it, into your container. So next time you get a Chinese takeaway, keep yeah. your boxes. Yeah, that would be a, a good size actually, yeah. yeah. That would be a really good size. And an excuse to get a Chinese takeaway. Yeah, and a really good <laughs> excuse that I did on Friday night. So what, what I've got here is I have got, uh, you can find them uh, online and that. They're like a little uh, soft squeegee brush. You can, use the backs of your uh, blending tools. Oh, yeah. Don't use your kitchen sponges. It's got that really harsh green uh, side to it. Yeah. Because that's, all that's going to do is scratch the flakes. But you're wanting something soft. So what we've got, again, I've decanted all mine. This is, I think, I want to say this is about three tubs worth within this one here. So what I've um, Actually, I've done this like a gazillion times and I love it. You've seen Gildan Flakes, but you've never actually used them, have you? Oh, where's this going? Uh, I've seen, I have seen Gildan Flakes, but they are something that I have never, I've never used before. Right, well, seeing as we're allowed now. Yeah. You come and do this. You are joking me. No, let's do it. You want me to come over and do that, yeah. you? Yeah, let's do this. This um, wasn't in the running order. See, the things I add. Seriously. What I would say when you've got the lids open, um, you know, try not talk as much as we are. Don't have a fan on, don't have air conditioning on because it will be like something out of the crystal maze uh, <laughs> that gets it started already. So what, what By the I've way, it's done, extra yeah. for me getting out of my chair in this show. Well, I don't pay for it, so oh, it's fine. fine, because I don't normally get out of that chair, do I? Just expense it to the team. I will have to. What I've done here is I've taken one of our uh, Christmas creator card dies and I've cut this in black done it black because it's really going to show off the silver and then what I've done here is I've taken a piece of our white smooth stamping I'm worried card. about sneezing uh, yeah yeah you can or see like it breathing floating. too heavily 
keep going. And then I've put a sheet of uh, the double-sided adhesive on the back here. So this side is all mm -hmm. sticky. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to pop that over the top mm -hmm. so that at least all of this popping through mm -hmm. is all sticky on the back. But yeah, you can oh, try. Yeah, it's, yeah it is. it's sticky, isn't it's it? Sticky, yeah. So you can use either use ours, or I know Hunky Dory's got their own uh, double-sided sheets on the website. So I'm making sure that that's nicely padded down. Right mm. there, you go. What? What do you want me to do? So what to do is um, pick it up. How much? Or, or just if you pick this one up, right. where you hand it, you feel comfortable. Yeah. And then what you can then do, you can either uh, take little clumps and then dab it all over, or you can literally turn it straight upside down, face it in, gently pull it up, where and, and what, then... What's it, what, like that? So I, I usually do it that way, yeah. Right, how far am I dipping this Just in? Just go straight in. What, like dunk it? Yep. Like, I'm, like dunk it in? Like yep. drop it in? Yep. Right? Don't oh. worry if it bends the edge. Oh! Don't worry. Yeah. Right? Right, keep, keep pressing. That, yeah? Yeah, that'll, that'll be enough. Right. And then lift it up. Oh, what is going on here? And then carefully turn it around. Yeah. That looks brilliant. And then what you can do. That's not how you normally do your demos. Is, yeah, there's little bits like that. What to do, and then dab them around the top here. Right. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of a coverage. Yeah. And then take this little uh, sponge squeegee. Yeah. And then I tend to sit it at an angle like that. Well, and I just, just work in round little circles. We'll go that way. So Don't pull see. the thing away, for goodness go. sake. And then all that you're doing is your circular motions, you're going round, you're taking all that excess foiling off. Hey! Of flakes. Is this all right that the tiny little bits are going back in the box? Yes. So the more and more and more you use it, the finer, the finer, the finer that the bits are going to get. So when it's freshly out the tub, you've got larger pieces of flakes, but you, you keep using it, keep using it. Whether it's, if you're using it like you are now, you will start to see large flakes within the days of, in the back. Over time, what you'll do is you'll get a nice smoother foil. Can I just, uh, <clears throat> just get a little, uh Check you out. Yeah, go on, carry on. So, so yeah, so the more you use it, the finer it gets, more powdery it gets. What will happen is over time, when you attach it to your adhesive, it'll be more of a smooth coverage because it's, it's kind of like powder. But What's this again I'm using? I can never remember the like name. Like a Brillo pad, or it's not quite as, f as tough as a Brillo? Yeah, it's not, it? not as uh, tough as that. It's really, really soft as you can um, feel. It's just like a little sponge. As you say, you can use the... Uh, the backs, what did I do with it? The backs of the... Or the Mate! Oh, I can't find it. I'll get it in a sec. But then there we go. Look at that! Whoa! Look at me go! I mean, come on! That is off the chart, isn't it? Which way is it there? Look at that! So that's Come on, silver. man. Come okay. on. And at first, when you think, you know, whether you're, you're dabbing bits on or you're going straight in the container like I do. Mate, the, the, dunk, the dunk one is the best way to do it. Yeah. Dunk it in. It's, it's very pleasing as well by dunking it. Yeah. I and mean, then, whoa. I'm well chuffed with that. Look at that. I'm well chuffed. Demo of the day right there. Uh, uh, quite possibly. Quite possibly. How good does that look? A little uh, a band with a sentiment and there's your card. Of course, put it on a card blank, but that's it done. Now you're taking quick, simple Christmas cards to the next level by doing your uh, gilding foiling as well. Mate, I know I made a bit of a mess, but that was fun. And the whole process of doing it was so super easy. Definitely get one of these tubs because that's the best way to do it. Uh, double-sided tape and that as well. Do strips of double-sided tape, red liner tape and that. Your tape runners, anything like that as well. You can do all your borders, everything like that. So cool. That's why I love them and that's why I love bringing them back time and time again. Because and, you, and you get all three colours for that price, right? Yep. So you get all, uh, all three of them. So you get your silver, you get your copper, you get your gold as well. And they will go such a long way. Well, kids, you, yeah, when you think about how much was stuck to that bit of <laughs> card then when I dunked it in and how few, like how much of it went back in the tub, that yep. yogurt, that's going to last ages. It, it, will, it will absolutely last ages. But definitely, as Ben says, recommend getting a, a, an expense. That was like a 99p. Um, so there you go. Do I get That's to you can do them. You can take it. Thanks. There you go. There we are. Um, just whilst I 
uh, go and feel very proud about myself and uh, <coughs> smug. Mm. What? No. One? Um, oh, don't you do. <laughs> it's time to. Uh, it's, it's time to give you a chance to check out your uh, baskets. Uh, make sure you do because it's really really busy, and uh, we'll see you back here in just a, a couple of minutes. <laughs> had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hey, look at that. I'm well chuffed. I'm well chuffed. Um, thank you, by the way, for all the lovely comments. Katie, you can do it, Ben. Go, Ben. Go, Ben. Go, says uh, S. Rooks. Uh, Debbie saying, this will be good. You're rocking this, Ben, says Katie. Ben, this is great, says Debbie. Great job, Ben, says Adriana. Wow, way cool. Great job, Ben, says Pat. Nice job, Ben. Beautiful. Great job, Ben. Thank you for all of these. That was, like, super fun. Honestly, you need, you need to get some gilding flakes in your life because uh, they are super easy to work with. Even this fool did it. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. It. £8, 11.99. Love, love, love uh, those gilding flakes. And um, just a quick question about them. Charlotte on YouTube just saying, are gilding flakes more or less messy than gilding wax, Craig? Uh, they're, they're as messy as you'll make them. Yeah. Uh, if you're in a, a control environment, you know, there's no wind, you know, the window's not open, the fan and that's not on, you can keep it quite irritating. The only thing is with the gilding flakes, there is slight potential that the flakes will expand, expand over your working area. Gilding waxes, because it's a wax, uh, really all that's getting waxy is your finger and maybe your glass mat or something like that. So um, I don't class either of them as messy. It depends on how messy you are, doesn't it? Really? Well, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it. So when it comes to the flakes, all that would just depend is there's not like a draft or that going through. As long as you keep them in big container, then you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, brilliant stuff. Loads of you loving those. Uh, lots of you as well uh, say that you're going to go for those now. Aisha just saying, Ben, you need to take these lessons back to your daughter for your crafty sessions. We are going to start those. I'm thinking potentially the October half term. Uh, we'll do some bits and pieces. And actually, uh, I'll check the bosses, but my Daisy is desperate to come in here um, on one of the shows. So um, I think potentially for, um, potentially a, a me and a Craig show, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get her in. Yeah. Because um, she'll definitely... She'll She'd good. love to have a go at something like that. So yeah. yeah, maybe on a Saturday or something. But we'll get her in soon, guys. Uh, Linda saying tag team crafting. Craig starts and then tags Ben in to finish. We are. We're like the ultimate, the ultimate tag team. Um, th that is 
That is brilliant. We've had enough chat about wrestling today before the show wow. anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's get on to Monday Makers, where this is going to be, again, a fabulous show because we've got the return of the Wobblers. And not just any old Wobblers, Craig, is it? It's the, uh, the Christmas characters, isn't it? It is indeed. It's the festive ones. So with these ones today, here in the UK and Europe, you're going to be saving 25%. For you guys stateside, you're going to save 20%. And that's the Christmas Wobblers. This is the Statsistata. Sister, it's sister ones. What? Those ones, you know what I mean. Sister, sister, what? Stamp and die set. Oh yes. It wasn't even that hard to say, was Not it? Not really. <clears throat> Stamp and die sets, where you're getting 48 elements in total with these ones. So the today's price being 39.99 or 69.95. However, actually, I'm saying however, you can see that saving on the screen, 15 pound 92 or 19 dollars 60. Really, really good saving. Platinum, though, that's going to come down further to £31.99 or $55.96. And these are all about the wobblers. You've got the wobblers, but then what you've also got as well is some acetate. And the acetate is what creates the wobbler. You get the wobbler die with it. You get a wobbler die in each set because some of the characters are different shaped or sizes. Uh, so within these ones here, you can see you've got the robin, you've got the little elf, penguin, reindeer. You've got the snowman, Santa Claus, Mrs. Santa Claus. Uh, you've got the gingerbread man as well, as well as the A5 acetate, which is like a 220 micron acetate as well. So it's a heavyweight acetate that you can be using within your crafting as well. This one does have uh, a protective backing on it so you just need to peel that one off uh, really quickly as well just to point out in case anyone wonders hunky dory's acetate doesn't have a protective back in okay that's something we always get asked uh, when we talk about acetate so hunky dory's doesn't but ours does uh, certainly the one within the set here so these ones this is what you can be uh, expecting to get we'll show you a few finished samples before we demo them as well and then with this one you've got the gingerbread man uh, of course depending on how you color it. it could be man could be a woman could be a child it could be any that you want it to be you've got the die as well but then you've got the wobbler die too so as i say you do get one for each character because some of the characters are thinner some are wider some are bigger smaller but you've got your own uh, and, individual and one and acetate is the best to get the wobble is it the best well ah. we're going to go on to that okay my personal opinion and preference is cardstock yes i get more of a wobble with cardstock than i do with the acetate okay so try them both if you prefer the cardstock like I'm going to show you, you've got acetate that you can be using elsewhere in your craft and it's not going to go a waste. Um, the initial idea was for them to be used with acetate, but again, as a crafter, I personally feel I get a better effect, a better wobble with cardstock, but we'll show you that just in a second. So within this one here, this is where you've got the wobbling aspect. So you've got your wobbler. Then we have got the robin. So within the robin here, each of them as well, what you've got is different sentiments as well, different fonts. Wobbly robin. Doot. Doodly doot. See, I just think of the chocolate biscuit. The what? Oh, the... the chocolate, yeah. The Ro chocolate biscuit. The Rocky? Yeah, Rocky Robins. Oh, I've not seen those for years. I've not either. I didn't know you still got them until Johnny said that he likes them. Can you still get them, can you? I think so. Yeah. Do you know, sorry, I know we're going off piece here a little bit, but the chocolate bar that I used to love, and I don't think you can get anywhere, and now you'll probably tell me you can. Do you remember 5, 4, 3, 2, 1s? Oh, yeah. Can don't you still get those in there? No, I don't think you can get oh, them. They were so nice. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anyway, move on. So that was the Robin. <laughs> <laughs> then what we've also got is we've got the little elf that apparently every it's time you. that these come up, everyone says it's me. It is you. It looks so like you. We've got the little elf. Yep. So Great you elf. could base it on anyone that you like. You. All different sentiments with each set and again, different fonts too. Then what we've got is we've got the penguin. That's me. So the penguin here. Is that you? You think looks, that's you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. This is where at the ben start win. of the show, penguin. Benguin. Ben Ben Wing. Yeah. Ben Wing. Uh, that works quite well, actually. Yeah. At the start of the show, I was talking about how these are good for your penny sliders as well, or just standalone Christmas characters. You can be using them. Then we've got Mrs. Santa Claus here. Colour them whichever way that you so wish. Then we've got Santa Claus as well. Ho, ho, ho. Exactly. Then we've got the snowman as well. 
And then last but not least, you can't have a selection without the reindeer too. So you've got Rudolph within this one here. So that, including the acetate, that's where your 48 elements in total come into play. So you can then be making your little slimline cards. So something you guys stateside are doing more and more is your slimline cards. Yeah. We're starting to, I'm not going to say catch up on it, but we're starting to introduce ourselves into slimline cards. But you've got Mrs. Santa Claus that we can see here. So the whole idea is they wobble, hence the name. But then they're not overly big, which means you can do nice diddy little cards. You can still do your easels, your twisted easels, and then incorporate that wobbler factor that we've got here. Then think about your embossing folders that you've got. So oh, you can brilliant. start to create scenes in mm. the backdrop that you've got here. So still with that wobbler aspect, get a hold of it properly for you to see. So you've got that wobbling aspect here. Then what we've got is making a scene. So you don't need to do, and I don't mean creating a scene like that, I mean creating a festive scene, Ben. I know you make and create <laughs> many a scene. What are you on about? Over the days. Whoa. But then we've got a penguin that we can see here. So you've got the penguin, the wobbler. Then you can be doing little tags with the reindeer oh, as well. I'm just giving it a help in the hand by wobbling at the back. Santa Claus. But then using your nesting dies as well. So not overly huge cards, like I said a moment ago. All of them being uh, wobbling that you can see down here. And then what about your festive sentiment dies, cut in dies, little cards. Really, really cute little cards, little fun cards that the kiddies will love to make for uh, their friends at mm. school. So simple as well. And what's more, every single one of them, they're going to go through the Gemini Mini or Great. the Gemini Go. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, give them, as much as our junior and our large Gemini are um, fine for kids to use as well because you can't get your hand caught in them but still you know for kids they'd love to use the little small ones which you absolutely can do and that's exactly what you you can do so then i'll just get myself sorted ben and then we can come back we're going to use the aqua pens within the wobblers and create a lovely cute little card uh lots of love for the show today uh sarah just asking for the email address again she says uh, i've been trying to email but not working i think i've got some of the spellings wrong uh, sarah let's get that email address up for you then uh, and for everyone else so if you want to send in um anything to our our studios any pictures this is the address just here so it's studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk it might be maybe you were putting dot com but it's studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and that will go straight through uh, to uh, Johnny and Charlotte today who are in the gallery uh, Astrid is saying we should definitely have a dynamic daisy extravaganza she'd be well up for that don't you worry about that um, Katie just saying I did not know about trying the wobble with cardstock good tip yeah give it a go like craig says see what works for you you might might find that acetate works better for you but try the cardstock as well see which uh, works best diana says what time is craig on hsn i know the answer to that but i'll let him on so what time are you on hsn craig so i am on 12 30 eastern time 9 30 pacific time it is facebook so it means if you're here in the uk you can watch it's going to be half past five so it doesn't conflict with any of our no. crafters tv shows literally going to finish launch day I've got about half an hour to get sorted and i'm going to be on with sarah anderson for the full hour and then i'm going to come back into this studio and we're going to do monday makers together i mean you have got so much as far as crafty content is concerned today so stick with us flip to h uh, facebook page in between shows and then come back to monday makers uh, lots of love for those samples of the wobblers as well and just to chat again um i know we're moving away from this but anna's just said hi craig and ben love your banter uh, you always put a smile on my face that's great to know uh, can i ask uh, what ben used to polish the gilding flakes please so what was that little bit of uh, material that we used again craig just like a, a really soft sponge um what i would also suggest is the back of our uh, blending tools, the yeah. foam in the back, you could use that. We wouldn't use anything that's harsh, like the back. I, I don't know if you guys have got it at States, but here we have a kitchen sponge. It's usually a yellow, and it's got a really, really harsh green scourer mm. side to it. You don't want anything too harsh, because that's going to scrape the flakes, but something soft, uh, it's nice just to take all that flake off. There you go. Uh, keep the questions coming. Keep the um, messages coming in as well. And uh, we will get started because we've only got uh, just over 20 minutes to go. So we're going to have a bit of a wobble over there. Who are you going to be wobbling with? So we're going to have a wobble with the elf. Oh, of course. We're going to play with the elf and we're going to do a little bit of watercolour in as well. So because I'm going to use my aqua markers, I'm going to use my waterproof ink pad. 
I'm going to go for the flagstone for this one so we can go in with the little elf and what I'm going to do this one here actually hasn't been used before it's brand new so let's do what I usually like to do and give it a little bit of a prime that's if I can find our watermark ink pad underneath here I think it needs a bit of a tidy here we go so I'm just going to go in with our translucent clear ink pad so this is the one that you would tend to use for heat embossing or anything like that and then all that I've done is given it a coat in because it's a brand new stamp so you might still have a little bit of uh, residual um, material from the stamp sitting on the top that doesn't always give you a nice crisp clean impression so we're going to go in once again flagstone waterproof and then press and then we can, you can see how you've got that little elf Fab. dancing. And what I would usually say as well, I, I like to stamp, cut and then colour. I'll sometimes say, when I get asked what's the best way to do it, what I'll sometimes say is if you uh, stamp and then you cut and then you colour. Because what can sometimes happen is if I was to colour right now yeah. and then die cut, if my die was to slip then and it cuts and you've just wasted all that time colouring. Mm. So at least if you do it the other way around, then you know that you're going to be good to go. So gone in with the Elf watercolour card. So I'm going to go in with the Nature Aqua Pens and the floral ones. And these are a set of four that we've got coming up. That's the Monday Mega Deal, isn't it? Later Monday on. Mega Deal it is. Mm. It really, really is. So let me just get my water brush, which I had somewhere. I thought I brought it out with me. Uh, um, I'll let, well, I'll let you find it. Um, yeah, please. Details on the screen for the Monday Mega Deal. So that's uh, around for 24 hours or whilst stocks last. Uh, it's the Aquamark of 48 piece complete collection. It's a brilliant price as well, £46.40 or $60 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, and remember, of course, the fact that those aqua markers are there for you, water-based. There's so many different things that you can do with them. So if you're looking for a set of pens to get you started with your colouring, um, I think, but you, you know, it depends which way you want to go. But I always think like aqua markers, water-based is probably the way to, to go as a beginner because there's lots more things to sort of get your teeth into, aren't there? That's, that's what I think. Yeah, I always find uh, watercolour and for me is always easier and always one that I would suggest to start with because it's more forgiving. So you can, uh, of course, add colour. You can take colour away. Because if you start with alcohol, something sometimes it can be... Um, can dent your confidence sometimes if you're not quite getting it right as quick as you want it to be, which is all about practice. At least with watercolour in, it's a little bit more forgiving. But I'm going in with the dye just now and I'm going to cut it and then colour it. So I'm going to go all the way through. And while I've got my mini out, what I'm going to do, Ben, is let's do the little spiral as well. So we've got our little elf and I'm going to go in with the little spiral. Whereas you can use the acetate that you get within the set, but I'm going to use our white smooth stamping card. And I think with it being cardstock, with it being more fibrous, I just feel I get more of a wobble. Yeah. There's more flexibility in it. There's more movement in it. And that for me, it's just my personal opinion. Well, you um, say you can try both, can't you? You can absolutely try both. I know some of you that have already got them, have tried it with the cardstock and prefer it. And some of you prefer it with the acetate. So it's entirely up to yourself. But you only need one. So that's me now cut one of my spiral. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go back in with my elf. I've got my paintbrush. Also going to go in with a fine one here. It's incredible, isn't it? I'll just echo what um, producer Johnny used to say. He's like, it's amazing that we've made a die that creates the, the, um, the little spring for you. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's you have to do that yourself. It's literally all of the, I suppose, difficult things have been done for you, which is, I think, the case pretty much the majority of the time with the products that we bring to you. All of the hard stuff has been thought of by our team, and so then it just leaves you to do all the fun stuff. It does. Mm. Yeah, you get to have that, the, the fun. You don't need to worry about cutting your own spiral when it comes to freehand with that the scissors. It could be a bit of a pain, that, I think. It can be, yeah. Yeah. You know, I know it's not one of the most time-consuming things to do, but the fact is, you've got your spiral there. And then on the flip side of me saying, think about using these with your penny sliders, now that you've got 
these dies, why not use your, your penny, penny sliders? Slider or what about using any excess little sentiment toppers or that that you've got from Hunky Dory, the mm -hmm. little tags that you get left over? Use them. You can use them when it comes to the um, the uh, the wobblers or you know your penny sliders, etc., etc. Sorry, sister, that's a great point. Could you have a wobbling penny slider? I've done that. Have you? Yeah, you? yeah, I've done so, that. So fitting the, the the wobble element onto the coin. Yep. Yep. Next so level. Created a penny slider as a wood, and then created the wobbler as we would. But then once we adhere the back, which we'll show you just shortly, I'm going to adhere it to my cardstock. But all that I've done was done it to the penny instead. And it's a penny slider, and it also wobbles at the same Wobbling time. Wobbling and sliding. Wobbling and sliding. Seriously. At the exact same time. Who would have thought, eh? Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> but you can. It's what you know. It's what crafting's all about as well. It's playing. And I know we're at a time where we don't want to waste anything, but worst case scenario, say we don't like what we've done, we're not happy with the colour and that, mm. that's all we've wasted. Exactly right. Still, although I'm using my aqua pens, I can still put it in the recycling. That's it, waste, uh, that's it um, recycled, and then you can move on and uh, try something else. So it's not an overly big deal. But I'm going in, this one is the Bud Green. So I'm pretty much following the colours that are on the packaging. You can do whichever ones that you want. And all that I'm doing, I've got a little cup of water to the side of me. And I'm going in. And the initial layer, I'm going down and layer one tone of colour. And then I'm letting that dry slightly. And then I'm coming in. I've done in the hat here. I've gone in and added depth. Yeah keeping it very, very simple. But even something so small like this, you've got little accent lines that we can see. So if you want to start to do shading, if you're doing it with your alcohol pens or aqua pens, or even your glitter pens, you absolutely can do. Just a question whilst we are um, talking about colouring, um, Alicia's uh, asked on YouTube, hi guys, can you use the alcohol ink to re-ink tri-blend markers? And funnily enough, and I don't know why, but a video of you um, talking about that popped up on my Facebook uh, page very recently. I think it was from back in January, but it was a, li it was a little sort of five minute video that you've done mm -hmm. about that. So technically the Tri-Blends alcohol pens are not no, refillable. But? But what you can do to eke them out a little bit longer, the ink in a tri-blends is the same ink that's in our classic, so yeah. therefore you've got your... Because the classics, you can pull the nib back, can't you? You can, and drop, yeah. drop the ink in. Um, so what you can do with the tri-blends, I know we're digressing just slightly, but let's just uh, touch upon it. If I bring in a tri-blend, so what I would do is I would take the uh, corresponding alcohol ink, mm -hmm. and I would take a tiny little... Uh, cap or a container or just something small and I would decant some of the alcohol ink into the, the bowl or whatever you're decanting it in and then what I would do is take the lid off and then sit your pen upright. You'll need something to help balance it but if you sit the pen upright make sure it is the tone of colour that you're using in the refillable ink you know because obviously your tri-blends you've got your three shades so if I'm using the BP3 and make sure it's the BP3 that's in the little glass bowl and then I would sit that upright and then what will happen is some of the ink will get sucked up into your little nib and then you'll be able to use that a little bit longer yeah. before you have to replace it. Yeah. So technically it's not refillable, no. but you can make it go yeah, that little bit longer by uh, just popping it upright. You need something to set it upright, yeah. um, maybe, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Just enough to enable you to just get out that little bit longer. There you go, Alicia. Um, it's actually, I knew about being able to refill our classics, but it's um, something that I only learned literally last week. It popped up on my uh, Facebook page. I don't know why. And uh, yes, he said exactly what he's just said now. So um, yeah, there you go. Any more questions, do get those in. That is what we're here for, to answer those questions. Um, you know, whether it be about something that we're showing you on this show, or like Alicia's just done there, a question that uh, she needed answered, we are happy to uh, just pause and get those done for you. Um, but back to our, um, our little elf here. So I've now gone in with, well, I'm still with the floral set. And I've gone in with the begonia. And I'm laying down the begonia, or the red. There is a red in one of the other sets, but while I've got this one out, that's what I'm using. 
So I'm going in and I'm just filling in some of the detail on the little L. And again, I know you've already chatted about this, but let's talk about it again, because Christine um, on Facebook says, isn't it easier to colour it before you cut him out? I'm just wondering. So, uh, so yeah, so we've covered that before. What I would say for, for me, you know, I do tend to do the stamping, do yeah. the cutting and then colour it. But what I, I would suggest as well that you would do is, if I was to stamp it, and then colour it, then I come along and die cut it. Yeah. If my die was to accidentally slip, it's then gone and cut through everything that I've coloured. So, you know, a little bit of a waste of time. Whereas if you stamp it first and then die cut it, of course, if it does slip, what have you wasted? Mm. Nothing. You've not started colouring it, so you've not wasted any time. So I, that, I, that's I what I tend to say. I think it's horses for courses, but that, that makes sense to me. The it way really, really is. Yeah. And spending time colouring this in, it's not going to take a lot of time, but if it is a sizeable stamped impression that you do get a die with, then it's, mm. uh, it's a little bit frustrating if the die does slip. Of course, it'll be taped down with your low-tack tape, but things happen, accidents still happen sometimes, that it could slip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the, the desert. This one is from the Nature. And let's go in with a bit of darker. Let's go in with the char. No, let's go in with the older, with this one here. And then we're going to start to finish this one off. I would let it dry a bit longer, but it'll be dry enough for me to come in and then assemble our card. We've got 12 minutes left um, on the show. I don't know where the time has gone. If you have just joined us, uh, the big chat on this show has been about uh, the brand new Hunky Dory uh, by the show collection, which I'm sure we'll recap again on before the end of the show. This collection that we're showing you now, the Christmas Wobblers, coming up on Monday Makers, along with the um, Aqua Markers, which we're showing you as well. Uh, these are going to be your Monday mega deal. So plenty to tune in for over the course of the show. Um, Sandra just says, that's just nice. My absolute sweetheart of a hubby is ordering the butterfly blush for me so I don't risk missing out. Ah, oh, brilliant. That is great. Let, let's have his name then, Sandra. Come on, let's have his name so we can, uh, we can big him up on uh, Crafters TV. Uh, and Astrid on Facebook says, uh, take it easy on your elf, Craig. When he's done, he'll be ready for his elfie. <laughs> <laughs> elfie. <laughs> he's going good. your elf. Get it? Elf. Like self. Elf. Elf. Yeah. You get it. It's I good. get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, Grandad. <laughs> what did you just call me? Grandad? Yeah, you're talking about self. I, do, you know, do you know what you said earlier on? When, oh, I don't um, know. What did I say? Me, yourself, Johnny, and Charlotte were uh, having a talk with the show, yeah. but I didn't pick you up, and it's what old people say. A what? And you, you said, oh, Johnny's now going, oh, what did he say? You were talking, and you went, yeah, and went on the Facebook. The Is Facebook. that what I said? That's what you said. That's what the old people say. That's what it's called, isn't it? The yeah. Go on the Facebook. Going on the Facebook. What do you say? Going on Facebook. And on Facebook? Yeah. It's like when they also they say, going on the Twitter. Going on the Twitter? Yeah. What is it, going on Twitter? It's Twitter. Ah. But don't you, don't, isn't the cool thing, um, <laughs> isn't the cool thing, I'm going on, I'm going on the grams. Um. Going on the gram. Gonna just, gonna just, just gonna drop a story on the gram. No. Yeah, gonna post on the Facebook, drop in, drop in some, drop in some new content, dude. No. On the grams, no. on the Facebook. Is this something you're trying to start, is it? Follow me on the Twitter. Yeah, tweet me, man. Peace out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Be no. <laughs> Charlotte's just dropped me off the screen. Unbelievable behaviour. Get the hint. That's, that is the ultimate insult. She's just gone, enough of that. I've been dropped off the screen. Get the Seriously. Hint. That's... I can't believe that's just happened to me. There you go. No, don't put... I don't want to come back on. On that note, yep. we've, we've got our pretty much finished elf, all coloured. He's ready for his elfie on the gram, on the Facebook. So Sandra's got... hubby's called Mike, by the way. Well done, Mike. Well done, Mike. Good work, Mike. Loving your work. Good work. Now see what else you can get from Mike today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you had a mention. 
<laughs> uh, and Gemma just says on Facebook, it's been an amazing show, uh, and Craig will make a demonstrator of you soon. No, I don't want to go in the box. Uh, Craig will make a demonstrator of you soon, Ben. I enjoy standing over there with him. It's like back in the old days yes, when we were at the other place, and I used to come over now and again, and we used to stand next to each other. And you know, I like that I'm doing more now because back in the back in the olden days when we were sort of side by side, I would never get asked to do stuff like that, or you know, like. Um, uh, last week when we made a little card together from one of our card kits, I'd never get asked to do that. It would be literally like, can I just borrow your finger so you can just hold this down for me? And that yeah. it just used to be, you know, it's all that. Oh, well, you do. don't get that here. No, oh, no. I get stuck. If I'm over there, I'm getting stuck in. You're too right with you the, are. With the main sure. man. You're getting stuck in. You're getting crafting. Ha! Sorry. Sorry. Just whilst we're watching, Kiwi is my favourite on the old uh, socials, my favourite social superstar, because she's just come up with this, and I don't know if she's teasing me here, but I'm reading it out anyway. Facebook was originally called the Facebook, but they dropped the the. Well, it's not now, though, so... Huh? It's not now, though, so... Yeah, but I'm old school, aren't I? The Facebook. You didn't know that, though. I did, that's why I called it the Facebook. Old school. Me and Kiwi. Old school. Yeah, the grams. Kiwi's young enough to be your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Granddaughter, maybe. All right, I'm not that old. Jeez. Dear, right, dear, before dear. I get a kick in. Huh? Before I get <laughs> a kick in. Why are you in that way? Tell you what, it's a good job, there's only eight minutes left. What I'm going to do here, I've got my spiral. Now, if I was using the acetate, I would use my red liner tape. But because I'm using my cardstock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in right at the tip. I'm going to go in with my, so we can just see under my little pinky there, the tip of it, I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. I'm going to add a little bit of the tacky glue. I'm going to pop it flat and then I'm going to sit my elf on top. And then I'm going to press that for a moment or two for that glue to grab. And then what I'm going to do, while still holding it, just so it doesn't pop off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it up slightly. And then, then in the center part, I'm going to put another little dab of glue. I'm going to then fix it back in, press it a little bit longer. So I'm going to pop that one in and then I'm going to press. So holding that one in, so therefore because it's cardstock then therefore the glue will dry into the fibres of the card and then we'll get a, f a wobble. And with the cardstock you can manipulate it a little bit more than you can do it with acetate. What I find with acetate, if you pull it out too far, you can't get it back oh, into yeah. position. Whereas <laughs> cardstock, cardstock, <laughs> you can do, you can do. So, so all that I'm doing is I'm making sure the glue is not spread under the work art. Oh dear. Oh, it's only Monday as well, isn't it? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. All oh day dear. today and an extra order as well, Craig, for you. I know. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're back again on launch day at 3. That's 10 a.m. East Coast. 7 o'clock, 2 o'clock East Coast. We're here for Monday Makers. In between times, um, Craig's on, um, on the HSN. I am indeed. HSN on the, on the HSN on, on the, the Facebook. On the HSN on the, the Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. The Facebook. Yeah. I think just to say as well, though, I think it is uh, cast onto my Facebook page as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, my Crafters Companion one. So don't worry too much about hunting for the HSN page, although it's easy. You go into Facebook and just type HSN. But I, I believe it is posted onto uh, my page. Because the reason I'm doing it, I don't know if you I don't know. If you know uh, Sarah's been a bit occupied as of late. Oh, she's been so a little bit busy doing something or other, hasn't she? She's Some, doing something. She's dancing or something like that. Something like that. Something, yeah, something like, like that. that. But she did do it really, really well. She so, did. Uh, I need to say that she's done fab on Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, so the ones that Sarah would usually do, uh, I'm doing at the moment. But here we go. So we've got our wobbler. And this is where, with the cardstock, I just feel that you get more of a wobble than you do with acetate. But it's personal preference. You can try whichever one that you want. I would definitely suggest that you try both acetate and, of course, cardstock. See which one you prefer. But it's the Christmas Wobbler die collection in total. 48 elements, which is including your acetate, which is a strong heavyweight acetate. $39.99 here in the UK. For you guys stateside, $69.95. But platinum uh, is going to be £31.99 or $55.96 for you guys platinum as well. So you're getting everything that you can see there. So you can see on the screen, you have got 
the gingerbread man, you have got the robin, you've got the elf, you've got the penguin, Mrs Santa Claus, Mr Santa Claus, you have got the snowman and you've even got Rudolph as well included. Uh, some brilliant deals to be had all day long. Let us quickly do a vote on the uh, demo of the show. Uh, so do you want to recap on your cards, Craig? Let's do it. So number one was our Hunky Dory. So we've got the Hunky Dory one that we've done as number one. Uh -huh. Number two, who's yours? Oh, do mine. Do right. Yeah, we can put yours in. Number two, wee. Uh, my, I got a demo of the day the other week, didn't I? Did you? The one that I made um, was a joint demo of the day with um, Debbie's little basket that she made the other day. So. Oh. I mean, that won't, because I mean, come on. It needs, yeah, number two. And but but you, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. Number I wouldn't two. be surprised. Right. And then number three was with what we just done there. So it was actually combining the wobblers as well as the aqua pens that we've got uh, coming up. We'll focus more on the aqua pens and Monday Makers, uh, Monday Mega Deal. But that's your three choices Hunky Dory, Benz, or the wobbler. So one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Uh, just a few quick comments, uh, last minute comments coming through. Elisa just saying, it would be cool for the team to wear their ugliest sweaters for Christmas and we can vote on it. Something fun. Hey, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll be well up for that. I've got a few ugly sweaters hidden away. Uh, Laura just says, I'm middle-aged. I just call it uh, FB. Laziness, probably. Lol. The Facebook, Facebook FB. Uh, Sandra says, don't fret, Ben. I openly admit to being a dinosaur. I'm not, I'm not a dinosaur. I'm, not, I'm only 42. Uh, Sandra just said, you're not you that much older than me, then. No, no, no. You're making me out to be a granddad. And boy, John's older than me. John's like 40, how would he, 44 now? I'm, I'm young-ish. Um, and Sandra just says on YouTube, more wobble for your wallet. Absolutely right. Um, get the votes coming in. Do you want to just recap what's, what's coming up? I'm too old, I've forgotten. No, I don't want to. You can do it. There's that much hunky dory, it's just falling apart over <laughs> yeah, there. As it's all falling oh, off. So go on, so yeah, talking about hunky dory then, let's do it. This is what's coming up after wake up call. Uh, so if you are watching live, it is 28 minutes past one here in the UK. So we're going to be back just over an hour and a half time for launch day, where we've got the three incredible collections. Are all there individually if you want, but we do have to buy the show, which is what everyone has been going for. Well, I'm not saying everyone, majority of you have been going for by the show. That's three o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m specific time and then we're going to come back again I will uh, pop through on HSN in between then but then I'll come back with Ben and we'll do Monday Makers we'll have a look at that Monday Mega Deal again have a look at the Wobblers we've got some of the uh, fun jigsaws as well all of them we're going to be having yeah. a look on Monday Makers 7 o'clock here in the UK 2pm Eastern Time 11am Pacific Time and we're just going to have we're going to have fun for a Monday night well night time here in the UK anyway Absolutely, we are. We are just waiting. Oh, we got it just in time. Shush, come on. I Behave you. yourselves. Behave yourselves. It means you can't take it home just now. Come on. I really appreciate that, but come on. You guys, you guys are just being, that is too kind. That's the winner. It's a winner. It might be a demo of the day. No, shush yourself. Might shush. Be. You never know. Uh, thank you very much. That's demo of the of the show. What a great show. I cannot wait to spend the rest of the day with you. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? It's going to be so good. Pretty much going to be a quick turnaround now. We're going to get everything else sorted, organised, set up for Hunky Dory Crafts. Don't forget, we've got these three incredible collections that we're going to go in a lot more detail coming up next. But don't forget as well, we're going to have demos galore as well. I would absolutely take the opportunity to get ahead on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Shop ahead on launch day. Get it in your basket get it checked out and then come back and join us live for launch day see you then bye